So let's go back into the VMF Editor. Again, I don't want to import friends or photos or search. I just want to hit draw, which lets me get right into this kind of import mode. And um, let's do something else. So uh, another thing that people don't realize is that I can take maybe one of the guys that it came with and uh, maybe I import a picture of LeBron James and I can drag both of them onto the, th this uh, canvas thing here. Uh, and I can get the library out of the way. The canvas supports two of these, two images at once. So right now, the second image that I dragged is LeBron and the first image is the, the character guy from the library. If I wanna flip those, uh, the order, I can just hit this button here, the layer button, and now my guy is on top and LeBron is on the bottom. I can still move LeBron, but the, the thing that is on top is what I wanna edit, what, what I can edit. So if I hit the eraser tool, I can't erase LeBron because he's in the background, but I can erase my guy here. So now what I'm gonna do is, is maybe, uh, this brush is too small, I'm just gonna grab, grab his head and make sure I erase all these other pieces because those pieces get in the way. Uh, and then I, I grab this guy and, and uh, move him and scale him up. And uh, now I'm kind of positioning him on LeBron's head. So, but I wanna get rid of LeBron's head so it doesn't peek through. So again, I can layer swap. Now LeBron is on top and I can now use the eraser tool and get rid of LeBron's head without affecting the other guy. And then I swap the layer again and maybe I don't like how this, this neck is a little bit weird. So I just get rid of uh, the neck. And you know, we got, we got this, I, I, I don't know, it's some guy on LeBron's body. <laughs> now, an important um, thing is that he's facing this way. He's facing our left as we're looking at him. And this is important because when he's a character, check this out, um, I'll name this uh, weirdo <laughs> and I'll give him a uh, character, right? Characters auto flip and they breathe and they walk on their own. So I want this guy to be a character. And when we'll get rid of my tower for a moment and just drag him down, drag this guy down. Uh, so now as a character, you, you can probably see that he's breathing when he's just sitting there and he follows and he has kind of a walk when I move him back and forth and he turns in the direction that uh, he's going. So um, that's cool. But if I were to go back into the import tool and bring this guy back in uh, that I just saved out and then flip him, I'm trying to show this is why it's important that he's facing this way because now that he's facing this way <laughs> uh, and I hit save and I save him as maybe another character, uh, this is bad, right? Um, you'll notice a very uh, uh, difference. So here's the good guy, here's the bad guy. The good guy faces the direction that I want him to. The bad guy moves opposite the direction because Skit expects all the things to look to our left as we're drawing him. So uh, the, the tip or the Skit tip of the day here is when we're going into this tool, there's a couple things. First, you can layer things together just by dragging a couple. Uh, and the, the one on top is the one uh, is in the preview here. And that's the one that you're able to uh, edit. Uh, you can get that out of the way. And then the one on bottom, uh, you can swap back and forth. And what's really important is that these guys, and they all by default face our left, so that when I layer this guy on and then hit save, uh, call him dude, uh, and give him, uh, he's going to be a character again. Then when he comes into my skit, he's able to walk and look in the direction that I want him to. Uh, automatically.